The traffic add-on has had a massive update. Let's go through it. These are some of the special cars, and if you already got it, download the new version. Oh my goodness. Let's have a quick squeeze of Rooney at just the BMW, for instance. I'm going to press N. And then if we go into uh, editable, to make it editable, the big feature around this new update is, is that if we go into pose mode and we select our door and we click rotate, we now have doors and also we've got some very nice interiors. And I'm pretty sure this is for every single car. And so now we don't have to be concerned with just having exteriors of the car, but now we can actually go in and have a look, sorry, and do animations with the actual interiors of the cars, of them actually getting in. Normally what I've been doing is actually just hiding the people getting in the car, but now we don't have to worry about that. Oh. A little quick tip, if I go search and I type in walk, walk navigation, I can now use the WASD keys to actually move around the car and actually kind of like walk through the 3D space. So you can kind of see. Now, these images don't update, but it is still pretty cool. And even if we come over into the bus, this is looking fantastic as well. So I can already see some really good animations coming out of this. If we go, let's um, let's explore some of the other cars. Now the Polygony guys have their own one add-on that's everything's combined, so Botanica and Traffica. We've also got the Material Library. But if I press E, now I've got a list of all the cars that we've got access to. We've got some roads as well. Uh, let's just focus on Traffica. Change the license plates. And we've got a whole bunch of street signs, so it's actually quite a few assets that are available as part of this pack. And I mean, if we bring in the Lambo, we can see that we've got our Lambo there. However, let's give it a very quick path. So I'm just going to go add mesh. Let's go curve. Um, I'm just going to do a NURBS curve. Tab into add mode. We'll scale it up. Scale it on the Y. Maybe a bit too much. can do donuts around the cars. Back in the object mode, we can select the car. Let's select editable. Oh my goodness. From here, no paint adjustments. Let's go into the rig and I can select our path. I can select our ground. And then if I click follow path, it's gonna bake the steering, bake the wheel rotation. And I can't remember the other thing. But now if I were to press play, you can see how the car is moving. Let's just go in solid mode. And the actual wheels are moving along. Wait a minute. No, they're not. Bake wheel rotation. There we go. Let's do that. Now the wheels are rotating. And so if we play that through, looking great. However, maybe I don't want the car to be so slow. Ah, we can also see coming around the corners, it's very jittery, the wheels. And that is because of the NURBS curve doesn't have too much, uh, what would you call it, geometry? Resolution, there we go. So we've come over here on the right-hand side and increase the resolution to 64. Then when we select the car again, we do have to rebake everything. So follow path, yes please, okay, okay. Bake the wheels, okay. And you can now see the car is gliding much better, much nicer around it. I'll be intrigued to see what happens here. Let's go up the wall the wheels are going up the wall. So you can see how follow how it follows the curvature of the ground as well, which is pretty cool. I am just gonna rotate that around a little bit. Just was, we wanna animate this car. Um, it's popping there because the rig's too far down under the um, plane. So we've got that, beautiful. So if we go ahead and try and animate it, I can select our rig and we can go into pose mode. I'm going to select this back end because I can go G and we can give it a wiggly path. And so if we go here, I'm going to press I to set a keyframe. And then about here, it can kick out its bum, come around. What are we doing? It's going to kick around. 
then maybe about here-ish, I, and then we will go G, snap it back into place, I to set those keyframes, and then Alt R, I. So Alt R to reset that rotation. And then we've got that. <laughs> All right, Sunny Jim. Let's just grab that. I'm gonna move it forward a bit. Nope. It's a, it's a bit too extreme, I think, is the problem. So let's go with this keyframe here. Bring it back. I, the holds, holds on for too long. I deleted the wrong keyframe. Delete this keyframe. <laughs> here, let's just kick it out a little bit more. Beautiful. So that's looking much better. You can see that it kicks out probably a little bit too early. It's just not going fast enough, but that's fine. We can come in here, change the speed. Let's go 50. <laughs> Bake that wheel rotation. And so now if we have this, wow, we've got to get rid of all our keyframes. Delete. We're actually going to convert this down into the dope sheet. Mm, dope sheet. The action editor. Let's increase that. Drift, there we go. We wanna clear all these keyframes out. Delete. And so we're gonna have about here, actually maybe a little bit further, here I. This seems like a natural progression of the car kicking out. I, to about there. And then it can kick back in. I, Alt R, I. How's that look? really whipping that out. <laughs> I think it's holding for too long. Nice. But then the other thing that we can do is actually come up here and control the top. And so we can actually move how the car is sitting. So if we have it here-ish, let's go back a frame, I, and then about here, we can have the car leaning all the way to the side. And then as it's coming around, Let's do an I here to set that keyframe, bring it across so we, it switches position, and then we can do an Alt G to reset that I. And so even though it's very quick, that car kind of like rotates around. So I've changed it up a bit now, just so it's following a Bezier curve. So what I want to introduce is potholes, for instance. And so if we come into edit mode, let's add in something like this and i'm going to create some edits like that let's go gz this one can go up uh, let's just compress that so it's a little bit thicker do the same here and then control b so let's just bevel that around so now we've got kind of like some speed humps select the car again let's go follow path and we're going to do all that again okay okay Bake wheels, I think we already did. But now, what I'm hoping is that as this car goes over the bump, speed bumps, you can see how it actually raises up over it. That is such a cool setup. And so, yeah, I think that if you're looking at doing scenes with any cars, this is one of those add-ons, which is fantastic. Let's go high beams, we'll turn them on. You can see now that there's lights coming out of the car. You'll bump up those lights to be nice and bright. Uh, yeah, sorry. If you're into scenes with cars and driving and so on and so forth, this is perfect. It is going to make your life so easy. I would, really, I would strongly recommend looking into the traffic add-on. And this is from my Instagram where I was showcasing it, how I've done it before. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at that. That's legit. And so definitely I'm going to be coming back and using this add-on some more, reacquaint my love for it.